Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the edge triggered D flip flop. In the previous video we have seen edge triggered SR flip flop. Here also we are going to see the SR flip flop, the same operation SR flip flop but where the S are connected with an inverter and one input, one output is taken as D. So this is the SR flip flop. Actually, internally a D flip flop is constructed from the SR flip flop as I mentioned. So this is one input and the second input is connected via inverter from the first input. This is that input D. And now this is Q, Q bar. Okay, this is the D flip flop input. If so, in order to say it is a flip flop, we have to use a clock signal here. This is the clock signal. Clock input is connected at this point. Okay, Q, Q bar are the outputs. Clock here, it may be a rising edge or falling edge. Here, edge triggered. Edge trigger may be a rising edge triggered or falling edge triggered. That is nothing but positive edge triggered or negative edge triggered. Here, I am going to explain about the operation of positive edge triggered D flip flop. Positive edge triggered means while the signal is taking transition from 0 to 1. 0 to 1. That's why a pair. And so we can represent this as simply. You no need to show SR every time, simply D as one input and other input is clock signal. This is the clock signal and these are the two outputs Q, Q bar. Okay, so in order to understand the D flip flop, here the SR flip flop internally working only for two operations 0, 1 and 1, 0 because if D is equal to 0, S equal to 0, R equal to 1, if D equal to 1, S equal to 1 and R is equal to 0. That means the SR operation we are restricted to only 0, 1 and 1, 0. Okay, out, uh, out of 4 we have restricted it to only two inputs so 0, 1 and 1, 0. Suppose if clock is having other than this particular edge, in remaining cases the clock, the flip flop will continue the same as input, whatever the previous stage, same as the previous stage. Okay. The internal structure of this D flip flop with this edge triggered uh, clock signal is internal structure. Of D flip flop consists of four NAND gates, four NAND gates, yes, yes, or flip flop, yes, or flip flop with yes and R inputs are shorted, shorted means in between that with an inverter as shown. Okay, see here, we are having four NAND gates. These are the two NAND gates and two more NAND gates. Q Q bar. So here one input we are taking it as D and the other input is this is the complemented input this one. Now instead of taking enable pin here we are taking a clock signal. This is what the pulse transition detector we are using here pulse transition transition 
detector pulse transition detector which is connected between the clock signal and the input of this NAND gate here pulse transition detector it may be detects two transitions it may detect a clock rising edge or falling edge if it detects a rising edge then it may be a positive edge triggered flip flop it may be uh, it will if it detects a negative edge trigger then it may be negative edge or falling edge trigger d flip flop okay so this is what the uh, the first two gates as i told in the previous videos first two gates are known as controlling gates or sometimes also referred to as steering gates also referred to as steering gates or controlling gates steering gates and the second set of this particular d flip flop is known as a memory location or it may be a latch this is the latch or it may be a memory location where the input whatever we are going to store that will be appeared at the input of this one okay this is the edge triggered d flip flop now if you see the truth table of this one truth table of this particular d flip flop so we have a clock d q n q n plus 1 and this is the state status of the output so clock is having a rising edge and d is equal to 0 q n is equal to 0 d equal to 0 q n equal to 1 and 1 0 1 1 so two inputs we are taking one uh, one input as d other input as q n which is a past output and all these cases we are taking when clock is having a rising edge and when clock is having the other states other than rising edge that may be a level or it may be a falling edge okay other than this rising edge is nothing but a level a positive level or negative level or it may be a negative edge and irrespective of the input output is same as the previous state so one means one now when d is equal to zero it sends internally s equal to zero and r equal to one so output is going to be reset so these are 0 0 and d equal to 1 means s equal to 1 r equal to 0 so it sets the output to 1 okay and here so output equal to 0 means here reset operation is performed and here 0 it is also reset operation is performed and in these two cases set operation is performed and here the last one is nothing but no change operation no change okay this is what the truth table of edge triggered d flip flop it is like your d latch but there it operates with enable pin here it operates with raising edge and falling edge of the clock signal now if you see the waveforms of this d flip flop like your sr latch you can also have the output waveforms output waveforms output waveforms so for this consider d input on x axis we are taking time and on y axis we are taking the strength of the signal or it may be logic 1 or logic 0 so d first clock clock signal which is having continuous changes as 1010 0, 0, train of rectangular pulses you can say train of rectangular pulses this is the clock signal and here we are taking the d signal d let us consider the random signal d <coughs> okay now mark the raising edge of the clock signal this is the raising edge all these are raising edges and now what is the output waveform see this is clock this is d and this is the output okay if you see here see the in the truth table it is clearly mentioned when input is equal to 1 see when input is equal to 1 output is equal to 1 
when input is equal to 1, output is equal to 1, irrespective of the QN. Irrespective of the previous state, whatever the input, the same we are getting the output. Here also when D is equal to 0, output equal to 0. T equal to 0, output equal to 0. Irrespective of the previous state, whether it is 0 or 1, output is followed as the input signal. Okay. So here also, now see the output waveform. Let us draw the rising edge events. Okay, all these are raising edge events. Now, assume the initial condition, initially Q is equal to 1. Let us consider initially Q is equal to 1. <clears throat> now, exactly when clock has a raising edge, it checks what is the value of D. So, D now it is 0. D is 0. So, output also goes to the 0. Again, At the second raising edge of the clock, D is equal to 0, so output also 0. It continues till the next event. See here, D is having a raising edge and at the same time, uh, clock is having a raising edge, at the same time D shows logic high. So logic high continues and again at D is equal to, uh, clock is having a raising edge, D equal to 1, so it continues to the same value. Okay. See here, if you observe the input waveform and output waveforms, output waveform is a slightly a shifted version of the input waveform. Output waveform is slightly a shifted version of the input waveform. It shows that it is nothing but a delayed flip-flop. Okay, there is a delay between input and output waveforms. I will write here. There is a delay, there is a delay between the input waveform and output waveforms, input waveform and output waveform. That's why It is known as D flip flop, nothing but delay flip flop. Delay flip flop as it stores the data without violating the original input, that's why it is also known as data flip flop. As it stores the data. It is also known as data flip-flop, data flip-flop, okay. So this is what the edge triggered D flip-flop, thank you.